Hello friends, in this lecture we will learn about selective repeat ARQ automatic repeat request. Okay, so this is used for error control and flow control. So what is it all about? So there is a sender and a receiver and our main aim is of flow control and error control. Flow control means the receiver is never overwhelmed with the sender. He always receives as much as he can process. Okay. And if there is an error, okay, so I'm sending some frame, there is an error that should also be handled. So these are the aim of selective repeat request. The feature is that it sends ACK as well as negative ACK. Okay. ACK means I've received the frame, particular frame. NAC means I have not received this particular frame, please send me back. So let's try to see what happens. There is a window, okay, sliding window. So this also comes under the sliding window protocols. There is a sliding window, okay, and it has size 2, which means I can send two packets without caring for ACK. So S is 0 here, okay, which means I can send frame 0, okay, so this window has S f s l okay so this is the window size s represents the last frame that has been sent okay so s is zero means that in this window i have sent frame zero i am expecting an act and this one which is after s in the window those are the packets which i can send but i have not sent yet there is a receiver window which says that okay i am expecting these packets and if you send these packets i will accept them so sender sends frame zero that's fine and sender also sends frame one because i can send the size of the window that many frames i can send before even before getting an act so you get frame act two which means now i am expecting frame two Okay, so now the sender sends frame 2, but somehow it gets lost. Okay, it gets lost, but I don't know yet. I have started a timer here. So then I send frame 3. Now what happens? This receives frame 3 and it knows that, okay, I have in this window, I have received this, but I have not received frame 2. So it sends a NAC. NAC tells NAC2 means I have not received frame 2. So now this one knows it and it sends frame 2 again. So now it has received both the frames. Okay. Let's try to see. So selective repeat, we were also doing the same. There was sender and receiver window. But the thing is, so there was in this window, there is what? The SF is the starting of the window sl is the end of the window and s is the last sent frame okay and here what happens in the receive window in the go back end protocol it was just size one but here the receiver window and sender window this sender window and receiver window both of them have size 2 to the power of m minus 1 where m is the number of bits to represent the sequence numbers okay so if m is 3 so in our go back n protocol we could have 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 7 will be the size of the window but here the size of the window will be 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 which is 4 okay so 4 will be the size of the window so only half of the sequence numbers and we will see why it is so so there is a sender window and there is a receiver window and this is how it happens so here if you see m is equal to 2 which means the sender and receiver window size are 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 which is 2 so NAC represents that i have not received that particular packet so frame 0 now let's try to see selective repeat so i send here let's try to see why we have the window size as 2 to the power of m minus 1 so let's try to see so i have m here equal to 2 so window size is 2 so i send a frame let's say all the acknowledgements are destroyed so i send frame 0 the acknowledgement did not come but i can send frame 1 because 
of the window size now what happens now because i was not receiving any acknowledgement there will be a timeout and i will send frame 0 again and then what will happen what will happen with this so this frame 0 will be discarded now because this receiver had received that frame so it means that if the frames the window size is 2 to the power of m minus 1 there will be no ambiguity in the sequence number so if frame 0 arrives again then it means i can know that okay this is for the same frame that i have received okay but let's see here what happens if m is still 2 but the window size has become 3 now so we have now the sequence numbers can be 0 1 2 3 i send frame 0 i don't get act s becomes 1 i send frame 1 because whatever is the window size i can send those many frames so frame 1 i can send s becomes 2 frame 2 i can send in fact i send then what happens all the frames I have received here and then what happens but because I was not receiving any acknowledgement all of them were lost so a timeout occurs for this one and I send frame 0 again but what will happen is because now it is expecting frame 0 it will think that okay frame 0 was of this particular next one so it gets confused and it erroneously accepts this one because of the cyclic nature of this sequence numbers. So your frame size should be 2 to the power of m minus 1. So this is about the selective repeat.